remember your very first job? We're actually doing it. We got jobs. And how rich you are gonna be? 25 cents an hour. You screw up and I'm calling your parents. The critics say Brooklyn Bridge is a show to love. You don't smoke anything. You don't even chew gum. Come on, the hokey pokey. An all new Brooklyn Bridge next. Hi, I'm Paula Zahn. Harry? Yo, Paula, I'm here in Hollywood on the set of Murphy Brown. I'll tell you all about it tomorrow on CBS This Morning. It's breakfast for your head. Share the moment with the world. The first thing you have to like, if you're going to like this story, is music. America's favorite kind of music. Having cleared that up, let me say there is no other word for it. It is a phenomenon, a business phenomenon, an artistic one, social, cultural, name it. And it all happens in what may be, person for person, the richest town in the country. A wonderful nowhere, a cafe, a five and dime. 3,000 and something souls in a town in the Ozarks that's a mere blip on the two-lane strip of blacktop of Route 76. And it gets four million visitors a year. Branson, Missouri is the live country music capital of the universe. The kind of music Americans spend more time listening to than any other. So One Horse Branson has 22 theaters and some of the biggest names in country. Everybody's looking for somebody new. The coal miner's daughter, Loretta Lynn. The Outlaw, Waylon Jennings, Mickey Gilly, Christy Lane, Mel Tillis, Boxcar Willie. And everything is beautiful in its own way. Ray Stevens and the French Fried Far Out Legion Band. And he haws hillbilly guitar picker himself, Roy Clark. heard figures that people come here and, uh, and spend as much as a billion and a half dollars in this little strip in this little strip of Branson Missouri it's incredible say it <laughs> say it a billion, and a, a, billion half. and a half that's several million and then some that's why Roy Clark will pick his way into a coma twice a day That's why Loretta Lynn will sing her familiar lament as many times as people want to hear it. Yeah, I'm proud to be a coal miner's daughter. I remember well the well I drew water. You can stay here a month and see a different show every day. And I would sleep because we would talk. I never thought. You can start as early as 10 in the morning. Just listen to some of the numbers. By next spring, there'll be 27 theaters with 53,000 seats. 10,000 more seats than all of Broadway. And they expect to fill them twice a day for seven months of the year. Most tickets are under $15 a show. Thank you, sir. Have a good day. Cowboys and horses, hobos and trains. Lord, I'd like to see them again. The country stars in Branson have decided to cut out all the middlemen to put their money where their guitars are, to own their own theaters. Boxcar Willie has his. Roy Clark has his. Mickey Gilly and the Foggy River Boys have theirs. So does Christy Lane, Ray Stevens, and Mo Bandy. Vertical integration, just like the oil companies. Center stage. Mel Tillis, the golden oldie, is building his oh theater. Oh, boy. I believe that somewhere in the darkest night a candle glows. 
He's uh, off the road, burned his bus behind him, and settled in for the good life in Branson, making money faster than he can count it, here in Hillbilly Heaven. It's Hillbilly Heaven without the halos and wings. <laughs> How much money can you make here? I heard a number. Six million in six months. That's, that's pretty close. It's pretty close. But you have to work two shows a day and sign autographs. <laughs> Why did you come? Well, I came because it, it's a place to work, you know. I was on the road for 34 years. Well, my hometown's coming inside. Well, if you think I'm happy, you're right. Six days on the road, and I'm gonna make it all tonight. We've got about six miles of people just sitting still. Sometimes it takes them two, two and a half or three hours to get to their show. Trevor the traffic cop tends his flock of snails. Well, I pulled out of Pittsburgh, I rode it down to East to see boy. I got my diesel wound up, she's a rolling like I've never before. Well, that is Pete, so hell it all right. I've been a passing ever cop insane. Six days on the road, and I'm going to make it home tonight. If you're wondering why Branson, the answer is no one knows why. One theory is The Beverly Hillbillies, a 60s sitcom that included a few episodes shot here in Silver Dollar City, a kind of hillbilly Williamsburg. Those episodes brought a few fans. And then a family of part-time musicians named Presley, no relation to himself, opened a pokey little theater on Route 76 to give those fans something else to do. And then another theater followed, and another, and another. And by the late 80s, the billions were pouring in. Anyway, it's a theory. And the Presleys, now three generations of them, are still here. Six shows a week of the purest corn in Missouri. Been back there on the phone and listening to my girlfriend, Patty Possum Lips. <laughs> What's she talking about? Thinks she's getting too fat, huh? Trying to get back to original weight. What's that? Six pounds and 11 ounces. <laughs> <laughs> this is not Vegas. These are very low rollers. They want value in one of the 10,000 motel rooms and want to pay a little for a heaping plate. Lord, thank you for this food and such a beautiful day. Probably. Or eat at home at one of the 6,000 campsites. From the lakes of Minnesota to the hills of Tennessee Across the plains of Texas From sea to shine From Detroit, from Detroit down to Houston From New York to L.A. The audience is the American audience. Wherever they hail from, they feel they are the heartland and they come here to the buckle of the Bible Belt to reaffirm their belief in a certain way of life. And in their time here, in all those shows, they will never hear a dirty word or see a bare bosom. Nothing here to offend your granny. In fact, granny's probably here. These are Charlie Kuralt kind of people. They want to be surprised, but only by the familiar. Yet they'll take to their hearts a country fiddler Like Soji Tabuchi? He's among the hottest acts in Branson, with, of course, his own theater. Not bad for a Japanese kid who turned up in the 60s with 500 bucks, fractured English, and a fiddle. Soji Tabuchi! He now goes fishing with fellow millionaire Mel Tillis. His English is only slightly improved. That every time we go fishing together, he said he cannot catch any fish because every time he turned around, I was eating his bait. <laughs> you don't believe that, do you? <laughs> now, folks, that is not true. I used to, but I quit. <laughs> oh, Shoji Tabuchi is one savvy fiddler. He knows how to tame an audience's prejudice 
and feed its patriotism. Every night, the same finale. The audience loves it. They love Shoji. Thank you. Come back. And they love Boxcar Willie, America's favorite and maybe richest hobo. And all that love is reciprocated. In Branson, you not only get to see the stars, you meet them, touch them, hug them. We did it. We did it. Box call souvenirs, folks. And for a price, come away with a piece of them, sort of. Doodads, t-shirts, name it. There's gold in them there tchotchkes. By golly, we're glad to have you here tonight. Oh, come to think of it, it's a financial pleasure to have you. <laughs> but you control every aspect of it yourself. Yes, sir. No promoters? No promoters. No producers? No producers. No agents? No agents. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like the perfect life. It ain't bad. <laughs> the people that's coming to, they're coming to Branson is the people we've played to out on the road for years. So instead of going to them, they're coming to us. For performers like Buck, Trent, and Mo Bandy, one of the joys of being off the road is the Wednesday All-Star Hillbilly Golf Game. It's hard to reconcile this country club set with their art, their songs about lost love and poverty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The country is supposed to be in the middle of a recession, a deep recession. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Not here, <laughs> Brent. <laughs> What's that? You say keep it quiet. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you know, people can come here and, and not spend a lot of money and see uh, ten right. shows. It's not that expensive, and for us, it's great. Uh, we get to, to sleep in the same bed every night. Yeah. Guy told me the other day, he said, you finally get to put your stuff in the drawer. <laughs> <laughs> Draw me a picture of this place in 10 years, Roy. Well, I think the traffic will be backed up to St. Louis. <laughs> well, everybody's going out and having fun. And I'm just a fool for staying home and having fun. All those cars, all those people spell cash. Who, by the way, is building his own theater in Branson. It's called Cash Country. The stampede of stars has begun. Willie Nelson is coming. The Gatlin brothers are building two theaters and a hotel and a restaurant and recording facilities. And not country, but still wholesome, Andy Williams is building his own theater. All those will be open next year, and so will the biggest of all, the Grand Palace, a 4,000-seat theater, recording complex, and plans for a country music television network. Whatever happened to Nashville? Mel Tillis was telling me not too long ago that there was a sign that said, with the last one to leave Nashville, please turn out the lights. And he added a little bit to it. He said, with the last one to leave Nashville for Branson, please turn out the lights. All black and white, yellow too. And the red man is right to expect a little from you. A promise and then follow through, America. It don't matter where I may roam. Tell you people that it's home, sweet home. America, America. America. America You know it's home sweet home America